I can't wait till I get back down south, get home, get my hair redone, shave this junk off, and grab some more supplies. Anyway, it's September 11th, Driver Appreciation Week. I had to go ahead and get ghosts. I'm back over here in Liberal, Kansas at this National Bee Floor, where right now I'm at this love spot taking my break. From the terminal in Denver, Colorado to here, 366 miles. Five hours, 20 something minutes, something like that or whatever. Speed is very important. I mean, like it's, <laughs> I'm down to 26 minutes. I woke up this morning, did my pre-trip. I did like 38 minutes, checking out the truck and the trailer and stuff like that, about 38 minutes. Then I got ghosts. The truck can only go 62 miles per hour on a pedal, 65 on cruise. That's 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 slow. You know what I mean? You know, companies they do that because they save fuel and stuff. Like I'm like, yeah, man, no. I remember when I had a Lone Star International. It was a 13 speed. Man, I love that truck. And I'm sitting here comparing that truck to this, and this is a 2019 uh, T680. That Lone Star did way better on fuel mileage compared to this truck. And that was a manual transmission 13 speed fast. Okay, it wasn't turned, it wasn't toned down or nothing. The speed, everything that it said on the dash, it could do. I didn't go that fast, but it could do it. Understand that semi trucks are not F1 cars. I get that. Here's the problem you at 62, 65 miles per hour. You got no passing power at all. You barely faster than the competitors that's out here on this road. So while you busy trying to get around him or her, you know, you got six million cars behind you and they are patiently waiting for you to get around this truck driver. And then this other truck driver in the right hand side is not going to stop their momentum just so you can go ahead and fully pass. They trying to maintain their spot because they just as fucking slow as well. It's a struggle and it's a pain in the ass. Now, <laughs> as a lease driver, you're paying for the fuel, so F all that. They should turn the lease trucks up because lease drivers, of course, if they lease in the truck, they gotta be pretty experienced, right? Right. Turn their truck up. Nope, they don't do that. I remember when I got an insurance uh, quote for a semi truck. I know exactly how all this stuff works. They don't ask if the truck speed is toned down or anything like that. All they care about is your driver license, the make, model, year of the truck, and they ask for your experience. That's it. And damn thing else, they give no Fs about at all. Now, if the truck is too old and they got too many miles, at that point, they're going to be like, ah, there are some insurance companies out there that are messing with it, but kind of good luck with that. If you got over a million some miles, you see a truck that's over a million some miles, you fixing it, and just, you know, unless it's been overhauled and you can prove it to the insurance or something, you know, but I don't even think they recognize overhaul. But they don't care about the speed of the truck just the year and basically how many miles on it and your years of experience dealing with semi trucks that's it now on the MVR side of course that does play a good role in it as well so when you go to companies when you're a lease driver you're still a company driver because you're on their insurance now you buy your own truck and you can bring it to the company you're on their insurance you're on operator but you're on their insurance you operate up under their authority that's how that stuff works they, they take all that stuff into account and when you're on operate, they don't mess with your truck. They're not going to turn the speed down. They just hope that you got enough sense to know when to, you know, use your speed and when not to use it. In my case, when it's time to get around somebody, I'm hauling butt around them and I'm getting back into the other side and I'm going to be chilled out. When I'm out west, speed limit, 80, 85 and stuff like that, it's, un it's just not fair for this toned down truck to be out there. And I'm wasting my 30 minute break on talking about stuff like this. I should be in Taco John's right now trying out they scramble uh scramble burger and fries i believe i came here last time and i had they breakfast got a breakfast burrito and they give you they don't hey they ain't stingy with the hash browns they give you like a little tub and they just pile up in i liked it i'm like i could have got the hash brown by itself and something to drink and i'd have been straight <laughs> but yeah speed is very important if used correctly i could have done 366 miles in a few hours it took my whole first part of the clock and all i got left after this 30 minute break four hours and 13 minutes left i can't go no damn well with that because the truck too damn slow and another thing that kind of messed me up a little bit was 
people out here on these damn roads, you know, they doing, you know, street work and stuff like that. And I understand roads got to be repaired. But the spot where I was going through, I saw no activity whatsoever. They just got cones out there and some guy out there with a sign that says slow down. And that's it. Nothing was getting drilled. Nothing was getting pushed. Nothing was getting laid down. Nothing that's out there in the damn way pissing me off. That's all it was. I'm like, come on, man. Then there's these people, right? They get the wrong equipment trying to haul these big old tour haulers, right? These little RVs and stuff like that. They got the wrong vehicle trying to haul the vehicles and they going super slow with that. Speed limit 65, they doing like 48, 52. I'm like, it was a struggle to get around that joke. I'm saying, like, yeah. Whew. I love to pay. Navajo is awesome. All I need is about five more weeks, give or take. About five more weeks. Problem solved. No more slowness. But my goal is to get my own truck. I'm real close. Technically, I can make a move on it right now, but I like to have a little bit more firepower. I don't like to just stick with what I got and just say, bet, here you go. No, I like to have extra firepower. That's the most logical move to make and I like to live by logic I don't just jump in and sit on and do it on the whim I like to live by logic time for time I do a bunch of little you know whatever time for time but yeah but I gotta do things more on a logical standpoint life is so much better if you live logical every now and then depending on the circumstances you can you know kind of ignore that but ultimately do things from a logical standpoint trust your gut all right, Taco John, here I come. I don't know what's going on with this driver appreciation thing today, but maybe I'll catch it next year. I don't know if they do it every year. I don't know. Every, I don't know if they do it every year, every two years, three years. I don't know if they do it next year. I'll catch it next year, I guess. Wanted to meet some people. Um, I wanted mainly, but no, nah, he wouldn't be there. The guy that told me about Navajo, um, he's in one of Navajo videos, matter of fact. I think it was driver appreciation week then when they did the, the film at that point in time but he's in there and i got a video on my account with him on there i ran to that guy when i was with martin enterprise and he told me about Navajo. um I mean, like i said he was 100 legit with it stuff like that i was skeptical about it but i was like all right at the point in time it was a struggle for me to get over his navajo so i told my uh my other teammate at that point in time when me and him was over at Martin Enterprise I told him about it he came over there and another good friend of mine named Wayne came over here and they they tried it out and they was making bread now they was leasing right the gate straight leasing so many chicks and you know here I am here now finally and I'm getting the same thing it's nice <laughs> that's what I'm talking about hey I got I gotta get my own rig though I I, I can't do this forever slow type stuff I, I, I don't I don't like the six hour long drag races. I just don't, I just don't. That's a nice W9 right there. I don't care too much for the color, man. That's a nice W9. And you know what, one other thing before I go, this green bug juice stuff, right? I put that inside and they claim, right? Well, not they, but everybody else be saying, oh man, it does wonders up, up against bugs when they splatter themselves up against the windshield and stuff like that. I get that stuff, spray it on there and it didn't do nothing, so. That's a myth. Let me see. Taco Jones might laugh at me with this $10. Oh well. I'm not gonna dollar over this. Till next time, everybody, I'm out.